Father, indeed, love is where you are. And peace is where you are. <coughs> Grace is where you are. Faith is where you are. Healing is where you are. Deliverance is where you are. Honor and riches is where you are. And Father, we long to be where you are. Power is where you are, Lord. Strength is where you are. Wisdom is where you are. And Father, we long to be where you are. We long to be where you are. Beloved, this morning you want to just let the Lord know. Let him know that the things that your heart desires the most, the things that your soul yearns for, the things that you want in your life, they are all where he is. You want to affirm it to him this morning. Praise is where you are, O God. Strength is where you are, O God. Wisdom is where you are. Honor and might are where you are, O Father. Glory and riches are where you are. We worship you, Father. We worship you. We worship you. Our sufficiency. Everything we need and everything we desire is where you are, Lord. And we want to be where you are this morning. <coughs> we want to be where you are this morning, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. That with you, Father, we find all our answers. <coughs> with you, Father, we find everything that we seek, everything that we yearn for. We thank you. We thank you. Draw us into your presence this morning, Father, in Jesus' name. We come by the blood of the Lamb, by the new and the living way. We come by the path that you have made for us, Lord, by the opening, O God, that you have created. We come, O God, we come. We come by the blood of the Lamb, Father. We come to your grace. Father, we come to your mercy, Father. We come to your help. We come to you, Lord, because everything we need is where you are. We come, Father, boldly this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. We come boldly this morning, Father, that we will receive of the mercy which you renew unto us. That we will receive grace, Lord. That we will receive help. We come this morning, Lord. We come, Lord, we come, we heed your invite, Lord, we heed your call, and we come, Lord, we come into your presence, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come into your presence, Father, we come, we come unto you, we come into your strength, we come into your might, we come into your wisdom, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we come into your glory, we come into your praise, in the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning we come, O oh God, by the blood of the Lamb, we come come by the new and the living way you have made unto us we come father in the name of the lord jesus we heed your call O oh god your call to worship your call to praise you your call to come we come as we are lord we come in the name of the lord jesus the dejected we come father the suffering we come lord the impoverished we come father in the name of the lord jesus the weak we come O oh god in the name of the lord jesus Christ, the frail, we come in the name of Jesus Christ, the foolish Lord, we come in the name of the Lord Jesus. <laughs> 
we come, O oh God, we come into your presence, Father. In your presence, there's fullness of joy. In your presence, there's everything we need. We come this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We come this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, to partake of your grace, O oh God, to partake of your goodness, Lord, to partake of you, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. This morning, your children, we come, Lord, we come, we seek you out, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We seek you out, Lord, like the deer that pants for the brooks of water. We come, Father, in the name of Jesus. We come into your refreshing, Lord. We come into your renewal. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come, Father. We come into your enlightenment. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning we come, Lord. We come into healing. In the name of Jesus, we come into deliverance, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come, Father. We come. This morning we come. We come, Father. We come. We hold nothing back, Lord. We hold nothing back, Father. We come. As we are, O God. As we are, O oh God, not perfect men, Father, but seeking your perfection. Not perfect men, Lord, but seeking your perfection. Not yet whole, Father, but seeking wholeness in you. We come, Lord, with our brokenness, Father. We come, O oh God, with our woundedness. We come this morning, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We come with our frailty. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we come into your presence this morning, O oh God. We come before you, our God. We come before you are king we come before you are father in the name of the lord jesus this morning we come we come oh god we come oh god life is where you are life is where you are Life is where you are, Heavenly Father. And this morning, we, your children, we choose life, Lord. We choose life. We choose life. And we come, Father. We come to partake of life. We come to partake of life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that every deadness in us, O oh God, will be removed, O oh God, that the life of God will begin to flow in and through us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every deadness removed, O oh God, every unfruitfulness removed, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And this morning we will partake, O oh God, this morning we will partake of the life that is in our Father. We come, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, as we are, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus, with our every need, with our every want, with our every frailty, oh God, we come. By the blood of the Lamb, we come. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The suffering, Lord, the cheated, Lord, we come. We come. We come, Father, we come, we come. We come into your presence this morning. We come into your renewal, into your refreshing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, into your healing, O oh God, into your restoration, O oh Father, that those who are frail, O oh God, will be strengthened. In the name of the Lord Jesus, this morning we come, O oh God, into your presence. We come, we come by the blood of the Lamb, O oh God, just as we are, we come, Father, by the new and the living way you have made for us. We come, O oh God, we come without condemnation, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we come without condemnation. We come by the blood of the Lamb. We come to receive life. We come to receive newness. We come to receive strength. We come to receive healing. We come to receive deliverance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come to be restored. In the name of Jesus, we come into your honor and your riches. We come into your glory, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come this morning, O oh God. We come. And as we come, Spirit of the Living God, usher us into the most holy place. 
usher us into the most holy place. Our Father, He doesn't require worship of lips. He He requires worship of sincerity and truth. He requires worship in the Spirit. Usher us into the most holy place. Usher us into the most holy place. Spirit of the living God. Usher us unto our Father in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are our lead, you are our guide, you are the one who has been released unto us to usher us unto our Father. Usher us unto Him this morning as we come freely, as we come without inhibition. Usher us into the most holy place. Usher us into the bosom of our Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Usher us into the bosom of our Father in the name of the Lord Jesus, Spirit of the living God. Assure us that we will touch his heart in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Assure us that we will do that which is pleasing unto him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Assure us unto our Father. Assure us unto the most holy place. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for your goodness unto us. We thank you, Father, for your grace and for your mercy. We give you praise, Lord. 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 We We extol your name, Lord. We exalt you, Father, in the name of Jesus. There is no God like you. There is no God like you. There's no God like you. Holy are you, Lord. There's no God like you. Thank you. Thank you. Lead us into your word, O God. Lead us into your truth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. (coughs) Good morning, beloved. Welcome to our morning devotion this morning. Um... So we might have a little time. So let's read. (coughs) I'll read. (sighs) There's one verse that I want to read and then a few other verses. I don't know if I have the time to. But in order to get to that verse, I need to read a few more before. So let's look at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17. Read from 17 up to... No, not from 17, sorry. We are reading from, I think it's 11. From 7. From 7 up to 16. It says, But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, When he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, now that he ascended, what is it? But that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. 
And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the things, for the working of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. <laughs> so we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. And speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together in a, and compacted by that which every joint supplies, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part make us in peace of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. The thing that really impressed me, the reason why I read all of this, is that from whom the whole body is really joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. That's the thing I want to pick out. According to the effectual working in the measure of every part. So it's giving grace to everybody He's giving gifts to everybody, and he says the purpose of this is that we will all be joined together and fit together into one, giving glory to God, worshipping him, that we will be edified. But all that is done according to the effectual working in the measure of every part. Now that effectual working is not just us working, it's not just us using the gifts of God, it's not just us making use of the grace of God, but it's by the power of God. That working is only achieved by the power of God. So that working we are seeing there is not by our natural ability to do what God may have laid in our hearts to do. So if this this morning, our morning devotion, is all supposed to go towards edifying the body of, of, of Christ. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So if all of this, if this morning's devotion is supposed to go towards all of that, it is not done by my natural ability to wake up, pick up my phone and do the things we have done so far. It is not done by my natural ability to 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 pray. It is not done by or anyone's natural ability to lead us in worship or my natural ability to pick up, pick it up and pray and praise the Lord or my ability to read the word of God. But it is done by a supernatural ability, by the power of God. By the power of God. That working of every part is done by the power of God. And that's why Jesus told his disciples, he looked at the 24 verse 49, and he says, And behold, I send you the promise of my Father upon Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. Hallelujah. We need to be endued with power from on high. We need to be endued with power from on high. This morning we came and we ushered ourselves. He says, come in with praise and with thanksgiving. And we've come in with praise and with thanksgiving. And I want us to continue in prayer and say, Father, endue me with power from on high. Because, beloved, that's the only way we can exercise the grace he has put upon us. That's the only way we can exercise the gift he has given to us. That's the only way that that measure of grace he has given to you and I, we can work it out effectively, efficiently, so that it goes towards the edifying of the body of Christ. That's the only way. 
You want to say, Father, endue me with power in the name of Jesus. As I tarry in your presence, as I wait in your presence, endue me with power in the name of Jesus Christ. According to your word, O God, endue me with power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Increase your strength in me. Increase your power in me in the name of Jesus. By the might of the Holy Spirit, endue me with power in the name of the Lord Jesus. By the might of the Spirit of God, endue me with power, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Endue me with power. It's not a fight I can fight alone, O oh God. It's not a work I can do on my own. I don't have the ability, Lord, but endue me with power, Lord. You said it's not by power, it's not by might. It's by your spirit. Endue me with power, Lord. You said you sent forth your spirit, O oh God, that he would endue us with power. Endue us with power by the strength of your spirit, by the might of your spirit, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the might of your spirit, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you said this mountain that is before you, it shall become a plain, and not by our ability, Lord, but by the power of the living God, by the effective working of the Spirit of God in us, and do us with power, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that as we step out this day, as we step out the rest of this week, as we step out the rest of this month, we will step out, O oh Father, in the power of the living God, that the mountains that are before us, Lord, they will be leveled down in the name of the Lord Jesus, not by our, our efforts, Lord, but by the power of the living God, by the power of God in us, by the working out of the power of the Spirit of God in us, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and do us with power, O oh God, and do us with power, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he says, You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses. Hallelujah. Ye shall be my witnesses. The work we have to do, beloved, we cannot do it of our own abilities. We cannot do it from the knowledge we have. We cannot do it from the strength we have received. We can do it only from the power of the Holy Spirit. From the power of the Holy Spirit. That effectual working is achieved only by the power of the Holy Spirit. We want to pray that that power will endure us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Endure us, O God, with power. Endure us, O God, with power. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the work we do in the church, the work we do in our offices, the work we do in our homes, and do us with power. It will not be by our strength. It will not be by our might. It will be by the working out of the power of God, of the Spirit of God within us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus, and do us with power, Lord, that we step out in that power. We step out in that might. In the name of the Lord Jesus, not our own strength, not our own ability by, by the power of the living God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we step out by the power of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. By the power of God. By the power of the Spirit of God, you know. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And you us with power, Lord. And you us with power, Lord. And you us with power, Father. For the effectual working of every part, Lord. And do us with power for the effectual working, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, for the effectual working, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that when we work, when we do the things we ought to do, Lord, it will affect the things it has to affect. It will be effectual, Lord. Not that we are working, O oh Father, out of your will, but it will be working towards the game, towards the end, Lord, towards the, the end result, Father, that you have ordained. And do us with power, Lord, from on high. And do us with power, God, by from the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The outworking of the Spirit of God in us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
scripture says how God anointed Jesus Christ who went about doing good. He anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. He endured him with power. And he could step out and work effectually in the measure that was given to him. May we step out And with every measure of grace that is given to us, Father, endure us with power that we will step out, Lord, and work effectually according to that measure of grace that is given. You who is able to save by little or by much, according to every measure of grace that is given, Lord, may the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, be manifest in us. May He work through us that we will work with God towards the edifying of the body in the name of the Lord Jesus, the perfecting of the saints of God towards the work of the ministry in the name of the Lord Jesus. May He work in us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that that which we could not do, Lord, may we attain it, Father. May we do it, Lord, in the name of Jesus that those mountains that were before us in our workplaces, in our homes of God, even on the byways and on the highways, may they become plains by the effectual working of the power of God in us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we will step out victorious, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise and we give you glory, Lord. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Keep us in your presence, Father, all through the day, all through the rest of the week. Keep us in your presence, Lord. Keep us in your presence. Keep us in your presence. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, teach us how to tarry. Teach us how to be in his presence. How to just remain in his presence. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Beloved, I know our time is up, but before we leave, I want us to lift up just 30 seconds of prayer for some of our brethren. The rains are coming in torrents, and people are getting hurt by it. Even we ourselves, our church is getting hurt by it. We want to pray. And say that, Father, deliver your people. Remember your people and deliver your people, Lord. Father, remember your own in the name of Jesus. Remember your own, O oh God, and deliver your own in the name of Jesus. Remember your own, O oh God. Remember your own and deliver your own, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Property will not be lost to God. In the name of Jesus, lives will be preserved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember your own, Father, where people, O oh God, are living in apprehension, O oh God, of the rains coming, O God, that it would remove them from their homes. Father, remember your own, O God. Remember your own in the name of the Lord Jesus and bring relief to your own, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, bring new ways to our minds, O God. New ways, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus, remember your own, O God. Remember your own. And we will not live in the stress of Father or the fear of being flooded. In the name of Jesus Christ, remember your own. Remember your own, Father. Send help, we pray. Send help. Send help, Lord. 
We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, thank you so much for your time, especially for the extra time. Whoa, a lot of extra time. Forgive me. Um, we'll meet tomorrow at um, 6 to pray. But tomorrow morning we'll be here at 5.30 in the morning and 6 p.m. in the evening to pray. God bless you. I apologize for the extra, extra time. Thank you. Bye.